ABC 6 News at 11 on your side starts now. Breaking news as we come on the air tonight, Columbus police have arrested a 16-year-old for the violent attack on a 71-year-old. We first told you last month the police say the man was beaten by teens who had forced their way into his home. Now, this 16-year-old charged with aggravated robbery, felonious assault, and auto theft. Now, last night, we showed you these surveillance pictures of another teen who's suspected in this attack. Police are still trying to ID him. If you have any information, you're asked to call Columbus police. Persons are still trapped in the homes. The water levels are rising in the areas. Um, I'm to almost 15, 20 feet in some areas in some homes. As Hurricane Dorian makes its way along the eastern edge of Florida right now, we're getting a look at the catastrophe that it left behind in the Bahamas. This is a scene there from there's the catastrophe and what's left in the Bahamas as we still try to wrap our arms around this unfolding drama there. The death toll has grown to seven and officials do expect that to grow significantly. The Bahamas Prime Minister is calling it a historic tragedy. So an aerial looking out at the flooding and all of the damage as well on Grand Bahama. The storm now off the Florida coast, as I mentioned, heading north. This video from Cocoa Beach earlier today near Cape Canaveral. Very heavy surf and, of course, the uh, trees being whipped there by these strong winds. Team coverage tonight with crews spread out to give you the latest on Dorian. We'll begin with Elizabeth Herr in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. New images from above the Bahamas showing total devastation and a humanitarian disaster.